Georgia, I need to talk to you for a second. And if you know people in Georgia, please forward this to them. This is important. It has to do with, guess what? What's happening in November and what's happening now, which is important and messed up. And there is something you can do about it. So I was just on a call with a woman who works at Fair Fight Georgia, which is, of course, a Georgia-based voting rights organization. As lots of you probably know, Georgia has been under a coordinated attack by Trump and his MAGA allies to interfere with Georgia election rules to make it harder for the votes to be certified in November. So basically, after we won Georgia in 2020, and then after Warnock and Ossoff won, Georgia Republicans passed a bill you may remember called SB202. One of the many awful things that bill did was remove the Secretary of State from the Georgia Board of Elections. And now that Board of Elections has three MAGAs on it who were appointed by the governor, and they are the majority. And this MAGA majority has made an effort to change the rules for counting and certifying votes in Georgia so that they can delay or refuse to certify the votes after the election, even though this is illegal. And even though, by widely understood law, it is not their job to decide whether they feel like certifying, it's their job to certify it, period. So what can be done? Well, there are a couple of lawsuits that have been launched on this. One is by the DNC and the other is by a group of Republicans. But those are probably going to take some time to play out, may not be resolved until after the election, which does us no good. Fortunately, there's something you can do. Actually, there's two things. The first thing she said is that the best way to counteract this is to turn out in huge margins. And you guys, this is true with election interference all over the country. MAGA can't win if they don't cheat. They're gonna try to cheat. We're gonna have great lawyers who are working for us afterwards. We're gonna get through it. But the single best way to make sure that we prevail is by turning out in massive numbers and especially talking to your friends who want to throw away their vote on a third party candidate and explain to them why in this election it is imperative that they not we need every vote we can get. But here's the other thing you can do. Ethics complaints have been filed against these board members, and now, by law, Brian Kemp needs to hold hearings and hear evidence about those complaints, but he hasn't done so yet. So we need Georgia residents to call him and demand that he do so, and Fair Fight has made it easy. They've put together a website explaining the situation, giving you a phone number to call, and telling you what to say. Imagine if thousands of you called. It's fairfight.com forward slash call Kemp. Check it out. If you're in Georgia, send this to everybody you know. If you don't get through the first time, set an alarm and try the next day. If we make a lot of noise, we have seen crazy things happen and they tend to be good. So let's get to work.